I'm holding out for some perfect reason I'm staring at the skyline with expectation But I'm never finding what I believe in but Believe me, darling, I'll stay patient But feels like my hope slipping away While I'm waiting here Feels like I go from green to gray as I lose another year So let it be you Let it be you well, We're here at Joe's Pub and uh, it's been about eight months since I played out in New York and uh, my co-writer Robbie Roth and I wanted to come and share all the new songs that we're working on. So tonight's gonna be a really chilled out night at the pub and gonna lower the lights and just one acoustic guitar, two vocal mics and two stools and that's it. Good Time Nation, the record that we made, um, is fully produced and it's got this really fun summer like pop jam feel to it and it's, all, it's fun to be able to just to get Robbie and I on a stool and the songs still work, you know, we strip them back to just the way we wrote them, like on the roof of my building or in our living room or, you know, in a car at camp in Canada. You gotta put down that bong Yeah, you gotta pick up my tune And when you're singing along to my song All the wrong will be right pretty soon I'll be your radio lover I'll get you happy and high I'll be your radio lover Put up your hands and dance with me tonight We wrote almost like 40 songs to pick from for the for the first record and a lot of those songs we were like these are great songs but they just don't fit on the energy and the style and the, the fun you know energetic feel of the first record but we wanted to make a quiet record and the second record right now is called quiet and we're working on writing I want to write like five ten more songs just to have them to pick from well we kind of took a different uh, turn with this record than we did with the last one we're really stripping everything down getting to know Gavin um, without a lot of bells and whistles, just sort of the true Gavin. Yeah. It's, it's just beautiful, emotional music that lacks pretense, you know. Um, it's just candid. It, I think it just tugs at you. I only get one lifetime How can I say goodbye to you? Question just because I can't say that it's over and done. What if you're the one? You know, I wrote a song called The Cat and the Mouse when I was seven on the piano because I took piano and I would play it for you, but there's no, oh, there is a piano. I'm not going to play that for you. Um, but I just was always kind of like writing little songs, and when I went to college, I was. I don't know, exploring a lot of things and who I was and what was going on in my life and songwriting kind of was a great place to just vent. Something more, cause I gotta have, I gotta have, I gotta have, yeah, I gotta have faith, faith, faith. One of the things that originally attracted me to working with Kevin was how honest he is with his songwriting. It's not that common to find somebody who's so unabashedly candid with their lyrics, so 
you know, as a co-writer or a producer, you want to find that in an artist, and then it doesn't help when they're cute and they have a beautiful voice. Oh, gee. <laughs> I got my hair, I got my head, I got my brains, I got my ears, I got my eyes, I got my nose, I got some m m m mouth. I got my gut, I got my muscle, I got life, 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 life. I think the coolest thing about hair is that it's like, it is rock music, it's pop music, and, and for the first time, you know, I was in Millie and Bounce in the 20s, and then Lacage, which is contemporary but really classic, and I don't know, Mary Poppins, and you know, just shows that are different. It's so great to be in a show that I can like, you know, use what, the way I like to sing, and I haven't got a chance to on Broadway, so, and the show is just infectious joy and, and passion and excitement and, you know, I love it. But I hope that the people that come listen to the music tonight are, are just honestly moved. I just hope that they, I don't care whether they view me as a certain I don't, that, I'm not worried about what they think of me or wh where they put me. I don't care where they categorize me, but I hope they listen to music and hear the words and hear the songs and go, oh my God, I feel that. I know that feeling. That's, that's as much as I can ask, you know? I hope they are genuinely like, you know, feeling something tonight. I know I will be. Love, stop me now.